Men who have been sexually abused by a girl. What happened? I was at a concert with my girlfriend. We were having some drinks and then she said she had to go to the washroom and her and her friend took off. A couple minutes later someone comes up from behind me and puts their arms around me. Then one hand goes up my shirt and the other goes down my pants and start grabbing my dick and stroking. Knowing it's not my girlfriend now because she's not into doing crap like that in public. I turn around and this chick is smiling and licking her lips. She wasn't smiling long because my girlfriend cranked her and split her open under her eye. I got really drunk at a bar and this girl asked me to go home with her. I barely remember the ride to her house. Kinda remember sex. Woke up the next day, and she was lying next to me watching me sleep. She gave me a glass of water and a pill. Said take this you'll feel better. So I did. Then she started going down on me. I laid back to enjoy it and I blacked out. Woke up again. And it was dark outside. She was sitting on the bed this time, watching me sleep. She gave me a glass of water and handed me another pill. I took it and she started blowing me again. I blacked out again. Woke up. She wasn't there. I had no idea what time it was. But I knew I had to get out of there. I found my clothes beside the bed. And found my way downstairs and out the door it was daytime. I had no idea where I was. So I just started walking towards traffic sounds. Then I hear my name being called. It was the girl. Running down the street crying and yelling come back come back. So I started running too. I lost her after two blocks. Made it to a main street. And got on the first bus I saw. Luckily it was a bus to go downtown. Found a newspaper on the bus. Read the date. I had been in her house for two days. Well. Never in my life did I think I'd have this conversation on reddit but I work at a restaurant, and I'm by no means good looking. On a near daily basis my chest and nipples are rubbed, pinched and grabbed because I have permanently hard nipples, and the girls I work with all think it's hilarious to do whatever they want to them. I've asked them to stop on multiple occasions, they won't. I physically recoil now when anyone even raises a hand toward me, and it's one of the most demeaning and humiliating things I've ever had to deal with in my life and I can't get away from it. In an attempt to somehow lose the hard nipple thing I destroyed my chest in a gym to no avail. I constantly think if the roles were to change how bloody fast I'd have been thrown out on my ass, but literally nobody cares since I'm a man. At a friend's party, I was 16 and my friend's sister who was 19 kept hitting on me. I took it as a compliment and played it off, as I was pretty shy and still figuring my way around the opposite sex. She had some friends her age at the party and they kept egging her on as the night progressed. She followed me into the bathroom at some point and pinned me in there while she drunkenly tried to pull my pants down. She got pretty aggressive, kissing my neck and I eventually pushed her off and dashed out of the bathroom. I didn't mention it to anyone and decided to let it go, given how drunk we all were. Looking back on it, I realize how fucked up it was and if the ages and roles were reversed, things would have been very different. Years later, I ran into her on a night out and she began laughing about it and telling all her friends how she was my first a few more years down the line. I was fooling around with my long term girlfriend in a public bathroom when I started having flashbacks and immediately lost all my mojo. These kind of things affect everyone differently and I have been laughed off by a few people, including feminist friends of mine, stating that it doesn't count as sexual assault. I'm not sure anymore to be honest. Was hanging out with my then best friend and his girlfriend. The girlfriend called a friend of hers and we hang out together. This girl looked at me like I'd look at Chris Hemsworth. After learning I am into metal she made one I'm marrying you joke after the other. Couldn't keep her hands off me and took it as playful flirting when I removed them. Constantly hugging. Snuggling and groping me. As I didn't want to cause a scene. I just let it happen and tried to still have fun. Not exactly abused. But I'd say it's harassment. After she went for my crotch one to many times. I snapped and told her to back off. Girl showed me her arm. It looked like a bloody cutting board, and asked me if I wanted to contribute to that. I almost fled. <coughs> Met her and a bunch of people out drinking. Joined them for an after party. She was cute. Totally would have fucked her. However at one point I was just tired and fairly tipsy so I fell asleep on the couch. Woke up to her riding me. Didn't mind as it was my intention anyways. So we continued until we got cock blocked from one of her friends that came storming out from a bedroom wanting to go home. 
Weird case where I wanted what was coming. Bit technically a rape, as I was just sleeping on the couch. In college, friends with benefits gone wrong. It's a good example of be careful what you wish for since at the time this relationship started, I thought I was the luckiest man in the world. She was a super hot nursing student and I was an average looking nerd. Being with her was a major boost in my confidence, which made what followed all the more devastating. The second time we hooked up, right in the middle of it she tells me to hurry up because her boyfriend will be here soon. This was a major red flag for me since I'm not okay with cheating, even if I'm just the mistress of the scenario. Plus, her boyfriend was as big and scary as they came, could definitely have beaten me to a pulp if he ever found out. But every time I tried to take issue with it with her, she just threw herself on top of me and rode me to completion. I was always too paralyzed to stop her, took me over one month to finally get out of that relationship, had to go to college security to get a restraining order against her. Never in my life did I think I'd meet such a beautiful woman who I'd want to stay away from me. I worked with a middle aged woman who routinely made raunchy comments. She was caught taping up grossly sexist cartoons in the men's restroom. She liked to invite younger guys out for drinks. She would get smashed and become really handsy. She never faced any consequences. Her father founded the company. She was a phenomenal salesperson. She would bring in millions of dollars every single year. Meanwhile there was a revolving door of young guys coming through the workplace. It was sad funny to see the dawn of realization of just what the guys had got themselves into. After one month or so, the old bird was married. She was mentally ill. Very sick but I didn't see it. I was very naive and new to exploring the world independently in the fittest form of my life thus far. She was sexually wild and didn't make me feel afraid of having risky sex. Without a condom or pulling out. After being cheated on in my first relationship. Now loving my new body. And being excited by finding a woman who knew what she wanted and would lead the way so to speak. It was also intoxicating and made me feel euphoric. This quickly came with the lowest lows I thought I'd experience in my life. She cut herself and hid upstairs of her place after sending me cryptic messages. I ran over. Couldn't find her. Left. She texted me. She was having a breakdown when I found her with her therapy dog comforting her. She knew I wanted kids and would put on a show when she was around them. She'd grab my junk and fool around while her super Christian parents were cooking in the next room. Once or twice, separate sexy times, she stuck her fingers where the sun don't shine. She laughed when I told her not to and actively resisted her attempts but she was forceful. I didn't realize the seriousness of what she had done until years later. All that anger, resentment, sadness surrounding feelings of lack of control stewing. Men can be raped by women. If someone ever tells you it wasn't that serious or straight up tells you that something like that isn't sexual assault or rape, they're wrong. If you can talk to someone important to you about it, do it, and follow up with legal action if you can. So I was around 10 and I didn't think I was remotely near to sexual maturity. Every year, we visit our family in basically what is the Hawaii of my country. So, after a few days, I was hanging out with this brother of mine who was 16. He was always the cool brother cause he was really good at quickly giving funny remarks to anything under the sun. So, he had this neighbor that he chased all the time and prepubescent me was delusional that this is a common procedure. This girl was well over 18 by the way, but due to her height and face, looked super young. So, once when I am randomly following her and my brother I believe she pushed him away and said we were going to play computer games and get to know each other. I thought what could go wrong. In my mind, she was the cool sister. My brother said he was going to play on his computer. I can't properly remember everything else because of the age, because I still feel some trauma. She said she will tell me a story or play a game, but only as I was a brave boy, and brave boys don't scream. She followed by getting naked and forced face sat me. Also, there was a lot of hair pulling, blowjobs and abuse. All of it is hazy but this went for one hour. I tried to resist but I didn't know what I was resisting. She was super predatory and it was clear rape. She then had a cruel look in her eyes but heard someone knock or something and somehow let me go dressed. Unbeknownst, I let it go as a natural experience. Because of some family problems. Next time we got together I was 18 entering that area made me remember those things and I felt very weird, kept on vomiting. 
got random boners and it completely shattered my sleep cycle. After some search, the girl was the brightest in an angle of the society. She almost topped and moved to the US as a scientist. The trauma isn't so hurtful but my girlfriend and therapist said it was the reason for various choices I made and how instruction slash femdom give me a boner without instant feeling of arousal. I don't feel pained or prayed now but to this date I feel weird episodes at that place. Like I started punching a pillow then humps it and threw it out of the window and felt normal for the majority of it. The weirdest part is after my grandfather passed away I inherited that specific house and I feel even more weird and paranormal going there as I need to maintain it for, it was my grandfather's last wish.